do the sitting test. And I found this lamp. Problem with it. Beautiful vintage glass. Not really covering the neck. So, like, I don't like crap sometimes. I don't want to see anything. Hi friend and welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to be partnering today with Casserine this living room makeover because I really want to give this space a refresh and kind of just be a reflection of my current design interests, making sure that it's comfortable, that is beautiful of course, and also just feels timeless in a way. So first things up is let's update these crown moldings. Here's what I got. They're like basically little rec or squares I should say. I picked this up from Lowe's. I actually got a few of these to put around the room. I'm just gonna do the whole living room now, but I think I, if I like it, I will, probably, I mean, I'm already committing to it. We'll put it into the living room or the dining room and the rest of the house. Um, and what I like about it, not just the design, but also because it's like thin, it's not too thick. And so when I put it up into the existing trim, I could reach and I think it's just gonna elevate the feeling of the room without being too much in my opinion okay to make my life a little bit easier I'm here in the garage and I'm going to prime and paint them beforehand um, before um, hanging them up I, I think it's gonna be a lot easier than doing so first up let's go ahead and prime this Looking back on this, I'm very happy I prepped this beforehand because let me tell you, my neck would be very sore if I would have done this after hanging them up. Take me to the ruins. So I painted the trim and this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it up now and I have my miter saw set up outside so I can cut and do that. Can already tell it's making a big difference. Like, take a look at this. No trim with trim. All right, so the trim is up. It's, it's hard. It's a little hard to see, but. It makes a really big difference. I really love it. I think it was the right move. Next, I am going to put in some caulking because it's necessary to fill in some of the gaps and holes. I have to say, I hate putting caulking on things. It's just so annoying and I make a mess. I'd rather clean the bathroom five times, but it's necessary. I'm already making a mess. Ugh. Okay, so I wanted to show you looks like I put the caulking on there um, and oops, not focusing. There we go. Look at that. So much better. I actually really love it. So I do need to do um, a coat of paint for like the caulking and stuff. And yeah, I think it definitely is. It's a small detail, but I think it makes a big difference. I'll paint that later on. I'm just not sure yet if I want to keep it white or if I want to kind of continue the lime wash into that molding. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, in the meantime, some furniture has arrived, so I need a clear room and make way. New furniture is in. I'm so excited to unbox this and I do have to say I'm so thrilled to be partnering today with Castlery. You know, I've heard some really great reviews about their furniture, so I wanted to try it out for myself. And so let's go ahead and do some unboxing. Color, I love the color already. This gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love it so much. If you're not familiar with Casserade, they are a modern furniture company that crafts pieces intended for our daily lives to create a space to thrive in. And I know that Casserade focuses on quality. So their pieces are quality craftsmanship, real life resilience, and time-tested durability. This is the new Emery nightstand, but it could also be a side table, which is what I'm intending to use this for. So this features this gorgeous sort of fluting effect which you know i absolutely love sleek modern brass poles gorgeous acacia wood sort of in this like medium to dark wood tone has some texture which this feels nice look at that look at that and this is the luca cabinet take a look at this 
so it has these sliding doors, tongue and groove. And so this is actually walnut veneer. Beautiful finish. I absolutely love this. So this is perfect for storage. Such a versatile piece that can uh, pretty much use anywhere. Here I'm going to use it for, I think, this wall. Which is perfect for hiding crap. Sometimes I don't want to see anything at least are ideal for that. This one also opens. And then it also comes with these shells, which are adjustable. The only thing I have to do here is just screw in these bolts into the bottom of the chair. Literally, it's like two steps. So let's go ahead and do that. Put on the seat, which comes with this Velcro on the back so it does not slide. Genius. Let's do the sitting test. Now let's build the second one. There we go. This is the Desmond leather armchair. The color is leather. Beautiful mid-century modern design. I love the tapering at the legs and it has sort of this pleated metal to protect um, the feet. Last but not least, let's unbox the sofa. I gotta say, I am still drooling over this sofa. It's so beautiful. I love the modern silhouette, the clean lines. The color is creamy white, and the name of the sofa is the Jonathan Sofa. It's actually part of their Jonathan collection, so they offer other modular pieces. So if you're looking to customize, maybe get like a larger sectional or something like that, they definitely offer that. They have different uh, colors as well. This one is on the lower profile, so it's a little bit lower to the ground, and it's comfortable, which is most important to me. And I just have to say, if you're looking for new furniture, definitely keep Castlery in mind. Castlery pieces are designed for every personal style from mid-century modern to contemporary their design language is intentionally universal and you get more for your money because they cut the middlemen out so they oversee everything from the entire build shipping delivery process to ensure you get the highest quality experience with fair prices to match thanks cassery i can't wait to put it all together okay so this is the rug that i selected i think it's beautiful however i have a problem with it it sheds like crazy i'm not even kidding i vacuumed this like seven times already it's still shedding it's all over the place somehow it's made its way to the entire house uh, i'm gonna be vacuuming for years to come and this one is not it anymore i'm gonna switch it out and put in probably like a washable jute rug that i have over there hopefully that one works out better if not i might go back to one that i used to have before This rug is so much better. I load already. I even think it works better in my design. So this is a washable jute rug. Um, and basically it has this like anti-rug padding in the back. It's a little bit on the thinner side since it's washable. You can throw this like in the washer, which is great. I have like a smaller one in the back entry and I love it. And I think this one even works better for my design here anyway. So I'm happy with this decision. This one's not going to shed. As you can see, I also put in the coffee table. So this is a coffee table that I created a couple of weeks ago. I shared a DIY video on this. Definitely go watch it after this one if you want to see how I made this. But very beautiful sort of cement uh, plastered table. Has this beautiful patina. A little bit brutalist in a way. Um, and I think it works well with this new design as well. So I'm happy to keep it around a little bit longer. I was actually going to get like a vintage wooden table, but I'm not ready to part ways with this yet. So I'm happy to incorporate it into the new design. But next up, let's go ahead and start doing some styling and maybe a couple of DIYs as they come. In the past, I would have gone with something larger over the sofa, but I really like this piece. This is a vintage uh, print, it's not original. Uh, I thrifted this actually last year, maybe the year before, I don't remember. Um, but I really love it. I love the frame and I love how basically with the UV, I feel like it's faded a little bit, but I, I like that sort of vintage look. I think it adds some character. Now, if you've been around here for a while, you know that I love thrift shopping and just finding beautiful vintage decor that has character, that has 
a story or such. And yesterday, actually the day before yesterday, I went thrift shop and I found this lamp. Look at this lamp. This is a vintage, tall, like, uh, table lamp. It's very heavy and I did a little bit of research and I believe it's from like the 1960s which at this point, you know, is what, like 60 plus years old, I think. But I actually left it at the thrift store. I posted it on Instagram stories just to see what people's reaction to it would be. And it was kind of like 50-50. Some people hated it. Some people loved it. I ultimately loved it. I don't know why I left it. So I quickly went back to see if it was still there. Obviously, it was still there. So I immediately picked it up. When it comes to vintage, if it's like over 50 years old or so, I am not going to try to like change it up or anything. I think it should be left as is, um, depending on, of course. I mean, it, that's just my personal preference. And it looks like somebody got their DIY hands on this and like spray painted over this plaster at some point and they did not do a good job. So I'm actually going to just give it a fresh coat of paint. I'm actually gonna go for probably just like a white color and kind of just let the texture and the sculpture of it do the talking. <laughs> realize I'm taping the wrong part. I'm gonna paint the plaster. I don't need to tape the plaster. <laughs> so I gave it a fresh coat, actually a couple coats of white paint and it definitely made a huge difference. But here's something that you might not like. Um, so that's that. I also went ahead and like restored the wood a little bit with some like um, wax, some beeswax. So that's what it's looking like. Earlier today I went to Lowe's to pick up some lampshades. I didn't know they carried lampshades until I saw mine. So I got the two biggest ones that they had. So let's take a look and see which one works best. I think I know which one, but let's take a look. This is option number one. Um, now with the style of lamp, it's a little bit on the longer side and like I feel like this is meant to be like accentuated I guess like we want to make sure that it's like not really covering the neck so this type of lampshade um, I think that could potentially work the tone of like the fabric it's kind of more on the cool tone which I don't really like this is another lamp shade option number two um, I kind of like this one better what do you think I think I'm gonna stick with this one. Which one would you do? That one? Or this one? So this is a bench that I sourced last night actually on Facebook Marketplace. So it's kind of funny, the sale was actually pending. Someone was supposed to go pick it up, but they ended up not going. So I was like, I will take it, which always sucks as a seller when people just bail, but as a buyer, heck yeah. So we're gonna go take this outside. Well, I'm going to go take this outside and you're gonna watch. And I'm going to strip this down via sanding, um, which is always dreadful, this much sanding. But I think it's going to look really nice back there. Last night I finished sanding this basically in the dark. Um, I really wanted to get this done and look at that. I. You know, raw oak, there's something elegant about it and it feels incredible. Now, as you can see with the current space, I have a lot of like medium tone wood, um, uh, sort of like darker wood, also flooring and such. And then we have that the black table and all that. So this does feel a little bit out of place, but I am all about mixing wood tones. So I'm gonna try to make it work for now. Now, mind you, again, this is gonna go back here behind the chairs, but I just don't wanna to commit to a color right now. So I'm just gonna leave it unfinished. I'm gonna put my like, plants here. Take a look at my succulents right here. I've got some new growth going on. Um, it could be doing better, but it's fine. It's, it's alive. I still have this one over there. I'm gonna probably put up here as well. And then I also have my fiddle leaf tree. Probably not the best 
in the, in the best condition, but it's doing a lot better than when I first brought it in. Um, I think I need to clean the leaves too. Having a crazy hair day. I'm actually starting to grow it out. I don't know, we'll see. But introducing my Chrome Era. I absolutely love brass and I've kind of been going hard with brass, but I'm kind of ready to not transition to, but sort of start mixing in different metals. And I think Chrome is gonna be the one that I do. And this one right here is a beautiful mid-century vintage accent share that I actually thrifted a couple of days ago. I actually was not going to get it, but then, I don't know, something attracted me to it. So I picked it up, I brought it home, I gave it a good clean. It's actually not real leather, it's like faux leather. Um, but the chair is in really great condition and I think this is going to work well in here. Putting it right next to the Luca cabinet, I think it looks great. And so, yeah, I'm just kind of getting excited about introducing a new metal in here. So not going to go too crazy with it, but let me know your thoughts are on Chrome. Are you a fan of it? Oh, I almost forgot to take the film off, which is always a pet peeve of mine. I know they get dusty, but it doesn't... Much better. By the way, take a look at these cute storage boxes. So these are like hand carved, uh, wood hand carved, like little sleeping animals. They are so fun. I actually have five animals total. They are um, from Africa, I have a rhino. Always gotta have some books on hand. These are my Aria trinket dishes made out of cement. Um, I made a whole bunch of these and they're available on my shop. And of course, some more books. I feel like the space right here above the chair needs some artwork. So I have this just basic frame right here. That's DIY some artwork. Plot twist. So I'm actually going with this. So this is an art piece that I created a couple months ago. This was actually a Dollar Tree DIY and I'm really loving just the color, sort of the depth, the texture. And I think this area can really benefit from this art piece. So that's what I'm gonna go for now. So I have this beautiful ceramic vintage vase um, that I sourced actually last year, a while ago. And I think this is a perfect space for it here on the coffee table. I can buy myself flowers and write my name in the sand. And these are some beautiful tulips. They're actually not real. They are fake, but they're actually kind of like made out of this like rubber material that they almost, almost look real. I mean, if you get up close to them, you can see tell that they're not real, but honestly, if I'm like a two feet away, they look like the real deal. So I'm gonna put a whole bunch of them here. I probably bought too many, but I really want like a full effect. And honestly, I'm just like inserting them. They come in a cluster of five here. So I'm kind of just like weaving them together. Tulip season is coming. Get in there. One of the things that I love about DIYing and creating pieces is that I'm able to customize things to my liking and kind of have fun with different materials and such. And these plastered pedestal stands um, are beautiful. I actually created them from my shop. I have a few available. This one is in the dark slate and it has this like beautiful charcoal color, soft texture. And I think it's gonna work really great in this space, this wall. I'm gonna be honest with you, this built-in that I created a few years ago, um, I just like never really put that much effort into styling it. It's kind of like the junk drawer here. Like I put prototypes, DIYs, vintage finds, like whatever, I kind of just like throw them on there. Um, and I don't know, it's kind of cool just to look at things, you know, when you're watching TV and all that. Which by the way, TVs are not the most attractive things in design, but sometimes they're practical and necessary. And in this case, this is kind of just built around the TV and that's okay. But um, I'm kind of 
want to try to put some effort right now into kind of just shuffling things around and I don't know. Let's let's see what I can do here. <laughs> Take a look at this beautiful vintage glass sort of base, very sculptural. Um, I love the amber color. I love this. Okay, so let's just do a quick living room tour, kind of just go over some of my design choices. I am very happy with the way the living room turned out. You know, since I was a child, I've always loved thrift shopping and home decor and kind of seeing this all come together is really nice. Um, and this space that I'm going for here is kind of more eclectic, modern and going for pieces that kind of speak to me, that have intention, that are playful and not taking things too seriously, right? <music> I love mid-century modern. This table lamp was definitely a statement piece. I'm so glad I finally went back and got it. Layering in some accent books, my bowl full of avocado pits that I keep collecting. Little bowl right here or vase. And it's really nice kind of seeing the casserie pieces also come into play here. Mixing in some of those vintage pieces, uh, furniture pieces, mixing in some of my DIYs. This coffee table was a really fun DIY. I have a whole video on that if you want to check it out. This sofa is very comfortable. Added some throws here just to cozy up. I am not afraid of color, believe it or not. And sometimes for me, it's the commitment. So I'm not going to paint a whole wall like a bright purple or anything like that. But some throws, some decorative accents, some books, that is a good way to kind of just have some fun. You can easily swap them out. <music> Now I consider myself a minimalist at heart. Like I don't like crap sometimes. I don't want to see anything, but some days I'm feeling like very eclectic and not maximalist. If you're maximalist, this is probably not maximalist for you, but some days I'm feeling maximalist and the coffee table, I'm just layering in some books, these faux tulips that look real, candle and a little bit of a chrome. I love that, uh, I think it's Blum uh, curved candle and as i mentioned i'm entering my chrome era a little bit and kind of just slowly start introducing other metals and kind of just mixing the brass i love brass but sometimes i just want something a little bit more uh cool i would say i'm happy with this mid-century chair this was actually 5.99 from goodwill so i love it pairing it next to the daco cabinet loving this mirrored mushroom to kind of bring in a little bit of fun you know, I styled this, I showed you that already. My junk drawer, right? You know what? Sometimes TVs are necessary. They're not most attractive, like I said, but they're necessary. And so we have just a whole bunch of stuff that I've collected, some DIYs, some thrifted things, some things from Amazon. I'm still using these unique uh, knobs that I got on Etsy with the checkered pattern. I think they're beautiful. I'm not going to show you what's inside because it's full of crap. Then we have a little plant section right here. My fiddle leaf is actually growing. There's a new leaf. That's kind of cool. Loving this mid-century lamp. I actually love how I can, um, like rotate them. So I prefer to do up lighting always because it's just it's just more comfortable than direct um, task lighting. Of course, these mid-century chairs are comfortable. I did a little uh, round side table right here. I also found this really cool sort of rattan cane little stool to go on the stool or a guest bench. Um, I'll link it down in the description box. Succulents layering in some books. Now I am keeping the existing curtains. I might do just white, white curtains in the future, but for now I'm still liking these. And then of course we got our, my plinth pedestal stand, some stools. In terms of my home office, uh, pretty much keeping it the same. This stuff is always changing. Don't be fooled by the neatly organized table. This is usually full of clutter and then I have clean it up and then it gets full of clutter. And anyways, I am, yep, this is cabinet 
lots of storage, which I love. I recently sourced this beautiful vintage handmade vase. Look at that beautiful color and that texture. This is from, I can't really tell who the artist is. It's hard to see, but I think it's great. So I'm just putting it here on top of some books. And with all that, that pretty much does it for today's video. I'm so happy with the result. I am looking forward to just sitting down and kind of soaking it in and enjoying it. And I really want to thank Castlery for partnering in today's video. The furniture is beautiful and it really works. Uh, I just love the way that it came together with my other pieces. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more uh, DIY content for me and things like that. Be sure to subscribe. I have lots of videos showing how I created some of the pieces actually in here um, and of course have lots more coming. Also check out my vlog channel for more kind of behind the scenes, more personal stuff if you're into that. Um, but thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. My avocado pits collection is growing. Look at that. The shelves, like the outer shell starts to fall off and then they start like to turn dark. Which is kind of interesting. I don't know. I'm kind of obsessed with avocados right now. Hi friend, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jorge. If you're new today, I have a fun kind of living room update makeover type of video. I'm going to be doing some changes here around the space um, that I've been wanting to do. For me, it's all about kind of just putting on all the things that you love together and creating a space that feels comfortable, that feels refined, that feels uh, true to oneself. And that's my goal for this living room makeover. Um, and I also want to thank Castlery for partnering in today's video. I actually selected some beautiful furniture to complement uh, the pieces that I also have. So let's go ahead and get started.